Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Number 5 of this video is an absolute shocker, so make sure you stick around till the end for that. Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 reasons people quit Roblox. But before we begin, don't forget to enter our monthly shout out giveaway by hitting that subscribe button then commenting I subscribed down below to be in with your chance. Now, as an avid Roblox fan, you're probably thinking to yourself, why would anyone quit Roblox? Well, there are many reasons, and five of them we'll be describing in this video. Even some of the top Roblox YouTubers have quit forever, so it's no surprise that a lot of other Roblox players are doing too. At number one, paying Robux for items. Now, whilst this is quite a common occurrence in a lot of games, Buying skins and items for real money can become very costly very quickly. Take Street Fighter V, a very popular fighting game, where a costume can cost you as much as $24. However, with the rise of trading in Roblox, some items have become completely out of reach for new players, as they just don't have the Robux to start trading with. Therefore, they'll have to invest real life money. Now this obviously turns a lot of the younger generation off as they have no source of income and most of the time parents just won't pay for in-game items. Number 2. The Rise of Minecraft Minecraft has become massive and has been for quite a while now and it's always been the direct competitor with Roblox. The owner of Roblox, David, actually once said in an interview with Forbes that he expects Roblox to overtake Minecraft in its average monthly playership. However, this hasn't been the case, and is probably because of a few reasons, mainly updates. Minecraft and Mojang have flawlessly updated their game with huge patches and new content regularly, and although it's a very basic game, they've kept it entertaining enough to keep their playership. But Roblox has had a few shoddy updates that more often than not have broken more than they've fixed. Add on to this that every time Roblox updates itself, all the creators of every single game have to update their games as well, and you can run into a few issues. Your favourite game could be offline for a few days, or even weeks, whilst the developers figure out how to make the game work with the new updates. This could cause you to switch to a new game, thus resulting in you leaving Roblox. At number 3 we have Scammers. As with any game or gaming community, you will always find Scammers. This is absolutely inevitable and people will always find a way to scam you out of your hard earned items. Roblox doesn't seem to do much about it though. There have been several cases where players have been scammed and nothing has been done, probably because they're not a public figure or a big Roblox YouTuber. You rarely find this in games such as Minecraft, but it does happen from time to time. And at number 4, the game is getting boring. With a platform such as Roblox, there are always the same 5 games displayed on the homepage, which are updated quite often but it's been said that the updates they provide don't give much in the way of new content. Plus, the majority of builders on Roblox these days are all imitating other games because they've seen them amass hundreds if not thousands of visits in minutes of being uploaded, and they want to ride that train of success. This leads to a page filled with clones of the same games, and sometimes it's hard to find the correct one, or the original devs change their game to find a new style. And the one you've all been waiting for, probably the most important, number 5, the toxic community. Roblox has one of the most toxic communities in the gaming world, besides a few popular FPS games. This is due mainly to the fact that a lot of kids play Roblox, which it makes chat a very immature place should an argument break out. This leads to less adults playing the game because of the way the chat is conducted. Less adults playing the game means less money going into the game, so we can only see a decline in Roblox for the future. Thank you so much for watching guys. Would you ever consider quitting Roblox? Or is it just a part of your day to day life now? 
let us know in the comments section below. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to us. New videos come out on Mondays and Fridays. Until next time.